Hello, and welcome to a VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Thursday, June 15th. It's great to have you. Uh, I was a little under the weather yesterday, but I'm, I'm feeling a little better today, so I'm glad to be back at it with you. Um, and uh, I, I really want to chat today with you about something that uh, I'm starting to fall in love with even more, and that is the voiceover website. My voiceover website, websites in general, are personal websites. This topic, I think, from when I started was always, um, not taboo, that's the wrong word, but it was always something that was very, um, I don't know, just hard to classify um, from the standpoint of, do I, you know, build a website that is a one-page uh, glorified greeting card or a website that is full of multiple pages with multiple descriptions on the different genres and, and uh, uh, examples and, and um, videos and, you know, uh, demos that, that, that I have and my portfolio and things like this? That was the big... Uh, kind of question I had. And I want to chat with you guys today about that very topic. All right. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also check out the link below to Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We're offering 50% off the first month to give us a shot. We'd love to have you where you can learn to start and grow your voiceover business through live classes, pre-recorded courses, live discord channel, very, very, very amazing community that you love to be there. We'd love to have you. Uh, webinars, so much is action. And then Academy Voices, of course, which is our online casting website that we're getting work for voice actors, which is growing and very exciting. Um, so anyways, getting back to that, and it's probably because of all of the work that I have done with Academy Voices and my own personal website, like the, these different websites and Avio's journey now that, you know, I've become so much more infatuated, I think, with growing a website, you know, um, the, in a perfect world, right, we would have our website up, people would find us on Google and or wherever, and they would message us and, and you know, we'd send them uh, uh, an invoice, they'd purchase from us, do the voiceover, go on our merry way, and, and it's a good world. This is not easy to do, and most people don't ever experience that. All the work they get is through other websites, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to talk to you about how to possibly elevate your website from a glorified business card to a full-fledged website that's bringing you work. And what do I mean? Is there anything wrong, by the way, in having a glorified business card for a website? Absolutely not. There's some amazing websites that are one-page websites that you have your headshot on, you know, some a, a bio, brief bio about you, uh, most importantly, your demos, a form to fill out or some way to contact you. All right. There's nothing wrong with that at all. OK. And many of us have those types of websites. Um, the challenge with those websites is that no one will ever find it. You'll never get anything from it unless you are spending an exorbitant amount of time or money sending people to it. And on top of that, you need to send people to your website that are looking to buy from you. All right. They're looking to, you know, at that moment, buy from you because they're not going to probably ever visit your website again. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing on there for them other than to purchase from you. So it doesn't give them a lot of options. You got to send an extreme amount of people there through a lot of work on your part. Now, that is one way to do a website. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I find that that's very, very hard. And a lot of a lot of voice actors are just not being successful at that. OK, so I want to talk about the other way that I really am starting to do. Now, I want to preface this with uh, with the understanding that this takes a lot of work. This is not something that is, you know, you do you, you put up a website overnight and something happens. Right. This takes a lot of work, time, months, years even. OK, but the upside is unbelievable. The upside is unbelievable. 
Um, so what I'm talking about is building a website that is more than just a one page business card. All right. In the end, it's easy to see if you do any research on from the big websites that are bringing in lots of voiceover work that they're getting that through Google. They're getting it through search ads and ranking on Google. That's that's what they're getting. You'll notice that if you go on social media, you will find these websites, but you will not find them targeting uh, businesses. They're targeting voice actors on social media sites, but they're not targeting other businesses. They target businesses who want or production companies, etc., who want to work with voice actors through Google. All right. That's I mean, you, you do. Re I've done my research. OK, it, it's you'll see it clear as day. If we are not ranking on Google or people are not finding us on Google, our websites will not do anything for us other than be that business card. So we have to go into this with the idea that our job is, is to create a website where people could be searching for something and then find our website. All right. Someone types in American male VO and you come up or American female VO or British female or whatever, wherever you are. OK, you know, any of those those types of keywords, these words, phrases that people type in and look for searching for something that your website comes up. Now, how do you do that? That always remains the challenge and it becomes daunting for people. I know a lot of people be like, Hi, Anthony, yeah, but I can't do that. I mean, how am I going to? That's so like there's no way I'm going to be able to create a website that's just going to come up, you know, in front of all these other websites. I know it seems daunting, but putting that effort in to build web pages on your website for example, that target specific genres can help you narrow that down and get that search traffic. So doing something broadly, you know, and I, I don't have time to go into this is why I'm going to be doing a webinar this um, <laughs> pop my mind while well, I'm doing a webinar this month on building your website and what to do in your website in order to get that traffic and get work uh, is because targeting voice, just general voiceover is going to be near impossible, right? Um, but targeting specific niches and, and, and areas that you work in, because most of us, let's be honest, most of us do voiceovers in all sorts of places, right? We do voiceovers all over. Uh, I mean, we do voiceovers in e-learning, we do commercial, we do YouTube videos, we do radio, we do podcasting, we do video game work, we do meditation, we do audiobooks, we do voicemail and IVR. I mean, the list goes on and on of all the types of work we do, we can do, all right? Um, so those are all different specific genres in which you can target those on your website by building out unique pages and filling them with you know your portfolio and more information about those areas about how you approach it about you and your your different projects you've done and different keywords that go with those things you know yes it takes some research and work and it takes time all right but the reality is is that that will over time you will rank for that and people you will get business through your website for that but a lot of times most of us shuffle that off as be like no you know, we're not going to focus on that because it, it, it is a challenge. And I hope with this webinar I got coming up, I, I don't have the link because it's not full like the it, I'll, I'll be posting like probably in the next whether it's tomorrow or next early next week that you can sign up for it if you want. Um, but, you know, it, it takes knowledge and understanding of how to go about doing this, getting your keywords and things like that. And I, I, I this is one big part of your marketing leg that you can really expand on. Most people don't touch it. Most coaches don't touch it because it is asking you to do a lot of work. But I, I think you can do it. I know you can. All right. You put the time and effort. And if I can do it, you can do it. OK, so, you know, I'm going to show people how to how to go more in depth in it. But for here, think of it. Each page is targeting as those niches, those those areas. And you building out those pages to be resources. 
Yes, people can purchase from you on those pages. I mean, contact you, listen to your work, but it's also a resource. It's a learning place for them to go. So it gives them a reason to want to go to your website. This is not a fly by the seat of your pants overnight thing. This takes time for you to build, but it is so worth it because when someone comes to your website, when they send you that email, when you gather their information, when you work with them, they become your customer. You know, not not some other not one of these other websites customers. They become your customer. Now, are there other ways to do this? Of course. You know, this is just this is just one way, one way that I'm beginning to really like because I like people coming through my <laughs> and on top of this, it always, I'm just telling you, it always pays so much better when you go direct to the client. This the pay is always way better. Right? It always is way better. And you take home hundred percent of what they pay you. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to kind of share with you this idea of, of maybe broadening maybe your thought process a little bit on your voiceover website, okay, and to give it a shot. Um, I'm going to put that webinar out, like I said, either tomorrow or next week or beginning of next week. If you'd like to sign up, come check it out uh, where well, we're going to talk about this. But hopefully this beginning gives you an idea of, you know, pushing the limits on your website if you've never thought about it as a way to get business. Because in the end, remember this. The only thing that you really own is that information on that website. Think about every other platform you have. Yes. Do you own your content that you've created? Yes. Yes, of course you do. But I mean, like that is shared to the public. Every other website that you were on, you don't own that website owns it. Every other, you know, like that company owns it. Every social media platform you on, you're helping build that social media platform. Now, yeah, now, d- does this mutual relationship that we have with all these other websites and social media plat- um, platforms help us? Of course they do. You're here on YouTube. I love YouTube. Okay. But your website itself is the purest form of what you own. All that content, that real estate, because no one owns the internet. All right. So you own that real estate. It's the only real estate that you own. So, you know, make it. I was going to be like, make it a mansion. But yeah, make it a mansion. <laughs> make it a huge place that you own. All right. OK, you guys, thank you. I'm going to leave it on that note. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy below. Have a good one, you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.